I got my September top box. This month it looks a little bit different. It came in this actual box. And then the actual tube looks a lot different than normal. It is actually quite pretty and it has Chatelaine written here. So I'm assuming this is a Chatelaine curated box. Chatelaine magazine, that is. And it's really big. So I'm wondering if they have more stuff in here this month. Which would be kind of nice because last month I was not very impressed with Hot Box. Let's see what they have this month in it. Okay, so the very first thing I notice in here is a Chatelaine magazine. So I'm not really a Chatelaine magazine reader, and I don't really buy magazines that often anyway, but I mean, it's a free magazine, so this will go really nicely in the basket beside my toilet for people to read while they're doing their business. Anyway, so this is a special double issue. Let's get into the real products. The very first thing, uh, Wella Professionals Thermal Image uh, heat protection spray. So this looks to be a full size product and it kinda it's a heat protector spray and it it looks like a, a dual phase one so the ones that you have to shake this might be a little bit oily I don't know so I've never tried any of the Wella heat protectors or anything like that. I've used their hair coloring but not their styling products. Next we have oh yeah oh remember last month I told you my Fairy Lashes mascara from Jelly Pong Pong had broken. Well, I emailed Top Box and the nice lady there, she replied really quickly and said she would send another one along with my next Top Box. So she did. Okay, this is a primer and it's by Cover Effects. So this primer is very, it's kind of like a gel consistency. There's not a whole lot of scent to it. And it's anti-aging, so I'm worried this might be a little too oily for my skin. What else do we have? Uh, Lee's Watier Hydra Smart 3D Hydration Tinted Veil with Blue Lotus Fast, Deep, and Long-Term 3D Hydration. This is 2 milliliters and Hydration Tinted Veil. So would this be a tinted moisturizer? I guess. Um, let's see what it looks like. It's only two mils, so you wouldn't really get a whole lot. Okay. Oh, I just squeezed out like way too much, so I probably just wasted half of the sample. So that's the color. It might be a little too dark for me. Ah, uh, I can't believe I just wasted that. What can I do with this? Dang it! Alright. I wasted it, so... So I just rubbed it in on my hand and it does look a little orange. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's quite sheer. I don't know. I've been having some issues with some breakouts and stuff, so I think I need something a little more full coverage than this. And then there's one more thing in here. Damn it! Seriously? So we get a little jar of perfume sample of Lancome Tresor. Tresor? Whatever that's called. Alright guys. I've had it up to my eyebrows with perfume samples. This is a cute little bottle and everything and I'll put it over there with the rest of my stuff but really why in the world do they insist on always giving us perfume? It smells alright, it's not really anything that I would gravitate towards but yeah I guess I'll take it since I have no choice. And that's it for Top Box for this month. I like the box. Not too happy about the perfume. All in all, I'm not that impressed with Top Box. So now I'll do the review for last month's stuff. Avon Mega Effects Mascara. Now I did use this quite a few times and it was alright. The only thing I think about this is 
It's a whole lot of extra packaging really for nothing. You know the infomercials where they show people doing regular everyday things, but like for some reason the people in the commercial are totally inept and they can't seem to, I don't know, put on their socks without falling over, so then they create this like gadget to help them put on their socks without being like all on the floor afterwards. This is kind of like that. I mean, a mascara is already quite simple to use. It's not that difficult. It's a very simple design. It's a stick with a brush on the end. So why do you need to create this big extra, like, three-piece system to put on mascara? Nice try, Avon. I get what you're trying to do with this, but I really think it's just a gimmick that we don't actually need. I know they're saying that it, you can get to your eyelashes from all different angles and turn it this way or turn it this way or go this way and that way or whatever. But guess what? I can do that with a regular mascara. I can go like this to get in to my little lashes or I can go like this to really thicken them up. You can do, you can go vertically or horizontally. You can come from above. You can come from below. So really this is a pointless design. The mascara itself was okay. I do like it. It makes my eyelashes longer and thicker, but so does this one. So what's the difference? I don't see a difference other than this is complicated and this is simple. So keep it simple, stupid, and we don't need this. And then we got this Lise Watier Ombre Souffle Supreme Eyeshadow sample. It's like a mousse eyeshadow. I wasn't too happy with this sample because of the packaging that they sent. Like, it's just like one of those sample packages that you open, right? Like, so. What I have done is I've used a couple bobby pins to kind of close it so it doesn't dry out. Overall, the actual product itself is pretty easy to apply. It has a nice consistency, but it's way too sparkly. Even if I ignore the crappy packaging they sent it in, I probably wouldn't wear this very often because it's like super, super, super sparkly. Now I use a lot of sh eyeshadows that do have shimmer in them, but this is like way more sparkly than anything that I already have. I like the colors though. The green and the orange. I just wish that it was a little less sparkly. Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. I really love this product. As you can see, I used it a lot. This is like a really nice color for fall, and it looks really dark in the tube, but it's actually way sheerer than that. So I like that sample a lot. And then the last thing we got was... What did we get? Hmm. I forget. Did I get it last month? Bum, ba -dum, bum. There was something else. I'm going to go look it up. And the last thing we got was these Belvada tweezers. And this is what really pissed me off last month. People who are into beauty and products and stuff like that normally would have a pair of tweezers kicking around at least. And a $5 pair, that was our full size sample. Okay guys, that was Top Box for this month. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye!